today? How are you today? Okay. Well, this is Dr. Ferraro here, in case you didn't know. And I'm going to talk to you today about boundary setting and how we define our boundaries and how it implies uh, uh, they derive from an emotional state that we have. Our boundaries uh, can be tempered with by different people. And I'm sure we have all met the persons that, you know, really made us go gaga and you forget your boundaries. But it's really important that you don't allow people to invade certain areas of your boundaries because after a while you lose respect for yourself. So what we want to look at is uh, the more intense a, a situation is, the more emotionally intense, like a love situation versus shopping or, or eating out in a restaurant, the more emotionally intense your interaction is, the more likely you are to sacrifice a boundary or have someone invade a boundary. And it's really, really frustrating. Um, boundary setting really comes from maturity and developing self-confidence. But in a similar fashion, if one is immature and lacks self-confidence, other people can definitely infiltrate your boundary. And you don't like that. You don't need it. You don't need friends like that. And those people around you who do that are not helping you in building your confidence. We want to surround ourselves with positive people. So uh, what life struggles along with us when we're young, this is how all of it gets shaped in the first place. And so much depends on your interpersonal interactions within your family of origin. That's your mom, dad, siblings, your grandparents, all of those. Uh, and so positive experiences allow you to, to blossom and bloom and develop who you really are. Like for instance, if you have a family that's very autocratic, there's no way that you're gonna get two words in edgewise because dad's the boss or mom's the boss, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's very difficult for you to set your own boundaries because you've given no space to develop. So in those that are more permissive and when you're really the other extreme where your kids could just do and say anything they feel like saying, as you're growing up, you feel entitlement throughout the rest of the world. And so that's just not going to be reality. So a parent's duty really is to kind of help shape us so that we can function appropriately into the bigger world. Okay, so when we have our boundaries injured, how are they injured? Uh, the biggest influence, of course, is our parents and then our siblings and then our classmates. When we're young and we're in school and you get harassed or teased about something, I don't think there's any one of us who hasn't been embarrassed about something that happened at school and you learn to cope with it. And a little bit is okay because you learn to adjust. But when it's constant for people who are constantly abused or intimidated, that is not funny. That is not something you want uh, to have happen to you because it puts a dent in your own personal psyche and it shapes how you pose your boundaries in the future. For instance, if you're constantly abused, uh, constantly harassed by classmates, and I have heard horrendous stories, what happens, you kind of get a really low self-worth and from then on, you let other people also infiltrate your boundaries. Of course, conversely to that, if you are constantly harassed as a young person, you may develop an anger inside of you and become the aggressor. And you may be the one who um, invades other people's boundaries. So we need to be aware of this, uh, but boundary setting is important because wherever you are on the spectrum, if you've got you know, no sense of boundaries or if you've got so much sense of boundaries, you have a sense of entitlement, that's a whole different ball game, but both cases uh, are derived from our childhood experiences, from our family experiences, and certainly going on to our significant adult lives. So our significant other in our adult life, whether it's your lover, boyfriend, fiance, a dating partner, um, a, a, a living partner, paramour, cohabitate, or your husband or wife, whatever your style of lifestyle is, if you allow that most important person to infiltrate your boundaries, insult you, disrespect you, um, disregard your feelings, maybe even toss around your belongings as a, man, a manner of demeaning you, these are all things that are not really funny. Uh, for instance, like if you're out in a restaurant and they make a joke at your expense, that hurts, it really, really hurts. So the difference is that you could accept a few jokes, of course. I mean, all of us do 
that's fine. But when it's constant and it's really done maliciously and you do know the difference, you know when your feelings are hurt, you know when somebody invades your boundaries and you know there are times when you want to say something but don't and uh, maybe you go home that night and you're thinking, oh, I should have said this, I should have said that and you're feeling humiliated but you didn't want to bring it up in front of other people. So what you do is kind of beat yourself up about it and it just compounds that sense of demoralization that happens when people invade your boundaries. So for those of us who experience it uh, in over prolonged periods of time, it does a lot of damage to our psyche, where in fact, uh, other people think they can walk all over us. Like for instance, it carries over into adulthood, both in your, in your life, your personal life, how you balance yourself with your mate, and also in your coworker life, in your career path how you can interact with your coworkers, uh, siblings, not siblings so much because usually by then you each go on and live your own adult life, but most pretty much so, you know, how we see ourselves is how we act in the world and other people see how we act and they treat us accordingly. So it's up to you to build the confidence, build positive experiences, and hopefully you're gonna have people of being uh, gentle to you or, or at least respectful to you. It's very, very important because what happens is we all have a fear of being disregarded and so we don't want to be alienated from other people. We all want to be accepted, sense of belonging. That's a human nature. That's absolutely normal. So the fact that some people are what we call outliers or just not accepted, it kind of does do things to our sense of boundaries, either too little or too much. Either way, we need to work on that. So what you need to do to get over some of this, the first step to solving boundary problems is to identify what boundaries do you want? What are your values? What are you willing to accept from other people or not accept? That's up to you. For instance, do you have friends that shoot zingers at you? Do you know what a zinger is? Okay, a zinger, according to Dr. Frauer's lingo, is when somebody sticks a, a nasty kind of a double-edged comment into a conversation when you thought you were just sitting there being friends. So that's not really funny. A uh, zinger would be something like, oh, 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 really? Oh, really? You lost weight? Well, you know, they're kind of like, they don't believe it. And so you're, you're, you were bragging because you might have lost five pounds uh, or other situations. Um, they can throw zingers in the sense of, oh yeah, you did that again. Let me leave it to you to bump in the wall again. And so other people laugh and it's all at your expense. Those are what I call zingers, okay? You didn't expect it. You were out for a social evening and that's what happens. So what is important is that you learn to change your um, habits, uh, identify more quickly when something happens like that. And you may have to reassess if you really want that person in your life, if you're gonna be the butt of their jokes at every event, okay? So I've heard this over and over again from people. Um, we've all experienced it and myself included, but you know, when it, when is too much, too much? From a good friend, sure, I can take a joke. From a person who I'm not so sure about, no, I don't wanna take a joke. So you really need to weigh that up for yourself. You may have to reassess who it is you're hanging around with. You don't need people bringing you down. You need people that are gonna build you up. So. That's our boundary lesson for today. So in the future, please try to reanalyze your boundary setting and see if you can't do a little better job. All right, so that's it for today. Boundary setting, you're gonna identify them and you're gonna define for yourself how you wanna be treated. And those who don't treat you that way, you need to step away from, okay? It's not easy, but you can do it. You can do it and you'll be better off for it. All right. All right. For now, may you always walk in light.
Bye now.